Hello everyone, I'm Sherry and you're watching Lessons Learned. Hello and welcome to Finish It Friday. Here we are again, checking out what I got done. Completely done. Yes, I did get my March block completely done. It's not my best work, as I said before when I just had the block done. But I put the batting in and the backing, did some quilting, just some stitch in the ditch quilting. And I would give this about a C plus maybe. It's not great. Um, I did figure out the reason why my actual quilting didn't turn out right. Absent minded me, I just went to quilting it without putting my quilting foot on my machine. So it didn't turn out the greatest on the quilting, but it's a cute little block for the month of March. I'll put that out somewhere for represent March. So there's that. Completely done, as promised. So that's my Finish It Friday thing. I do have 10 blocks done of the Pat Sloan. I'm up to date. Today will be 11. And I'll get to doing that here in a little bit today. And then, thank you so much everyone for helping me out on the binding for, for this quilt. It was pretty much overwhelmingly agreed upon that the the binding would be this one the grunge one everybody kind of agreed on that let me stick that up here so you can see it just a little better that's the one we're going to have and I've got my backing completely done as well I was going to show you that uh, I just did a grunge white on white and the blocks that I had left over I put in the center and then I had to fabricate an, an edge here on the ends to make it fit the top. Not too shabby. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. Just kind of did a, it's not in the middle, it's off center on purpose. I'm showing it to you in halves. So that's going to go on the back. And that's my fix it Friday, finish it Friday for next week. I will get that sandwiched. I've already got the batting. All I have to do is put my strips together for the binding and quilt it, bind it. I think I can get that done in a week. I really do. And then my next little UFO that I need to do. So this one became a WIP all of a sudden. So that became a WIP work in progress. And that will be done next week. Also, I have these nine little blocks here. There's a YouTuber. Her name is Amanda Rolfe, R-O-L-F-E. Maybe some of you have seen her. She is uh, in Sydney, Australia. And Amanda Rolfe is the name of her channel. And uh, she had a little quilt along a couple years ago with some mini blocks and nine mini blocks and then she just put them on a modest size piece of muslin and made like a little wall hanging or it could be a table topper too if you wanted i think i'll finish it out the same way and hang it here in the she shed so because it kind of represents a lot of different blocks now this was my very first block, and it's this one, this, uh, the pattern of this one, this flying geese one. And I decided, oh, I have too many oranges that are the same, and you can't really tell the difference between one orange to another. But if you'll look, there's some, like, 
flowers of a lighter orange and then the other points are polka dot yellow polka dot but when you look at it from here it just looks like an orange solid block well I redid it to do it this way and of course that turned out good that's more like it lots of contrast and the others that I did were were good my light is really weird okay and then you can kind of see what the other ones are pretty much uh, more flying geese just a cross hatch cross hatch right there little circle in the middle um, this one the ninth one was supposed to be a hexy circle of hexes on a solid background and I think the hexes were supposed to be black and white and the hexes were so daggone small that I just couldn't they were too fiddly as they say you know too fiddly so that's where I gave up on this project because I could not get going mentally on those teeny tiny hexes so I'm still not going to do those stupid hexes so I'm just going to throw this block on it and make a little wall hanging out of it straight line quilt it and put a hanger on it and that's that's going to be a a UFO turned WIP this week too so I don't know if I'll get that done my next Friday but it's it's out here now it's going to be dealt with now <laughs> and it's a small project so I should be able to do it the big project is is this now I talked to you yesterday about the um, batik boho throw and I'm working on that pattern and I'll have a an episode and like an introductory episode on that next week so um, get ready I think I'm going to gear it towards fat quarters so um, doesn't mean you only can use fat quarters you can use whatever fabric you have but I'll give you the dimensions either way on it and how to put that together so I'm looking forward to that one that's that's going to be so cool so yeah have a great weekend you guys uh, go sew something go drag out some things that you haven't finished and take them from UFOs to WIPs this week if nothing else and anything that you have finished send me a picture of and I will feature it on the Monday morning quilt chat so again have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon bye